grew up in the church. I grew up um, just uh, being around church and, and around the Bible. And it just seemed natural when we went to church camp that at church camp everybody was getting baptized and they went forward and accepted Christ. Okay, it was my culture, this is what I do. And I was an obedient kid, so I followed along with everybody else and, and stood in line and accepted Christ and went down to the pool and got baptized. And, and again, it wasn't an act of faith and love of Jesus. It was just, hey, this is what everybody's doing and, and I'm gonna do it too because I wanna be obedient. And, and it didn't, nothing changed, nothing I was, nothing changed in my life, nothing changed in my attitudes, and I thought, maybe I need to just study more. So, went to a Christian high school, studied more, and studied more the culture of Christianity, and more the Bible, and more the rules, and, and obeying more the rules, understanding the rules more, didn't help. I still was, didn't have any joy that I read about in the, in the history book of the Bible, and, and about the miracles. I always pondered, you know, these, people that give up their lives and, and go overseas to share this Jesus with people. I never really understood why. A pastor, uh, actually a college pastor, sat down with my fiance and I and he said, let me ask you a question. He said, you described the problems that you're having. He said, are you guys Christians? I said, oh yeah, yeah, we're Christians. He said, okay, great. He said, are you obeying God in your relationship with each other? And we're like, well, no, you know, but uh, the Bible says a lot, and, and you know, it's, you know, you're not supposed to speed either, but I speed, so, you know, what's the big deal? And he said, there is a big deal. He said, God put all those, those rules that you're talking about for a reason to protect you from hurting yourself. He said, Christ died for you, that Jesus provided the way out, so that you don't have to be buried under this weight of sin and regret, that accepting Christ he will forgive you if you confess. You need to obey him and he will change your life. And for the first time, all those rules that I studied made sense and that I finally saw my need for a savior. And from that point on, I was just ecstatic. I couldn't get enough of the Bible. I love God's word now, it's awesome. And the excitement that I had, I thought, wow, the scripture is very clear that once you give your heart to Christ and you believe, you need to be baptized. And I asked the pastor, I said, I feel like I need to be baptized because this is the real deal. He said, no, you were baptized as a kid. That's fine. You only need it once. You're good. I thought, oh, okay. And then Pastor Wes started preaching about baptism again and all those questions came back and, and I was praying about it a, a lot harder. I called um, Pastor Scott and, and Pastor Scott was so gracious and listening to my story and, and um, answering questions and he just had a, a pretty easy response. He said, pray about it and if God convicts you to do it, you need to do it. I'm like, okay, that's great. That's what I need to do. And being obedient and when you believe, be baptized that I want to take that that step of obedience and and not that I can boast but that I can brag on Jesus and what he's done and that's why I want to be baptized and want to show everybody how awesome Jesus is well what an awesome story that is and um, Jason's here today with us come on in but before he gets baptized, before we have this privilege to this, we want everybody to know what baptism is and what it is not. And I hope you're inspired by his story. Maybe somebody's out there and they, they think similar things where they were baptized as a young child but never did it for the right reasons. Uh, but if you have put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ and repented of your sins, that is, that is salvation, just as Jason had mentioned in the video here. Upon that, the Bible talks about going to what, where there was a place of water and being baptized and saying that I'm, I'm serving Jesus, I'm already saved. It's a picture of his death, burial, and resurrection, and it's a picture of us burying our sins in Christ and then raising to walk in newness of life. And so we're excited to do that, but I want to challenge you guys as a church as well. Maybe you have... Um, been convicted by the Holy Spirit, and you need to be baptized, you've heard sermons recently, we would love to do that today. We could do that at the end of this service, uh, at the next service, or whenever works for you, but we would love to do that. We're excited to, to be a part of this today, so, all right. All right. <laughs> 
Jason, if you put your faith and trust in Jesus, upon your profession of faith, my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried in the likeness of his death, raised in the likeness of his resurrection. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Awesome.